Howdy folks, Troy with V-Twins, the V8's coming on on the 240Z project. So I've got uh, Featherfill G2 all over it. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay a guide coat down. I'm gonna use House of Color KD3001. It's a black. I reduced it down so that it's like a sealer. That way there I can lay this down, kind of just dust it over the car and it'll be a guide coat for me. So I'm going to put the camera on it and you can watch me do it. is guide coated basically it's just dusting the um, the sealer on I'll give you a quick walk around so the general premise behind this is when we sand this will show us all our high spots and low spots we'll get to that uh, shortly okay folks so with our Feather fill applied to our 240Z project. Our guide coat put on, allowed to dry. Now I'm gonna start the blocking out process. So the first stage of the blocking out process is to use 220 grit sandpaper. Wet or dry, I like to use wet because it keeps my paper clean. And then I'm just gonna block this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this while, on, while you're on camera, I'm gonna do a small area so you can see what this actually looks like. So I'm just gonna wet up my, uh, my paper and my surface here, and I am going to start to block this. And as you see, when I start this blocking process, I am going to dry it right off right now. So now, as you can see, you're seeing a lot of the gray, but you're still seeing some of the black. Everywhere this black is gonna be a low area. Everywhere where it's um, the gray primer is going to be a higher area. So I'm just going to continue on with my blocking process. Now, I would use probably a longer block. 
but it's easier for me to do this so that you can see it with this shorter block because I can keep my keep going. A lot of people complain about this stuff being hard to sand. I don't see it being hard to sand at all. I use Fabrifil. I got a 66 Impala Super Sport I painted when I was 17 years old. I'm 59 right now. And that car actually still looks pretty decent. And I used Fabrifil on that 40 some odd years ago. So it's a really, really good product. I'm gonna wipe this down. Now you can see it. Now what I'm going to do is the entire car like this. I'll probably use some bigger blocks and my flatter areas and I'll get this all flattened out with my 220. I'll go back over it with some 400 and then I'll be ready to put my final primer on. So this is the process. So that's guide coating. You've seen me do it. Please like and subscribe and follow the build on Troy Kane V-Twins the V8. Thank you.